Okay, let's click on the next mission here, which is going to be with the le leading officer. And I think it's going to be a quieter one. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually a big one. Patrol. Uh, okay, good. So there's also recruitment. These last ones are, are nothing. Ship upgrades. This is just like you guys can figure this out on your own. I don't think we really have to go into it. Um, how to just recruit new guys. But uh, patrol is going to be our good one here. So let's go hit patrol. Um, patrol marked area, crisis management. Uh, okay, let's hit start. During this mission, we will uh, practice a first real-world patrol on sea. I will accompany you and do my best to ensure we return in one piece back to port. Okay, so this uh, officer is going to come with us. So let's hit the map and see where we're going to go. Uh, okay, we're going to go to BE1, BE4. These two squares here. Shift right mouse button to append intermediate points. Uh-huh. Okay, so it wants us to plot a course. And this is like we're getting far out. Most of the missions I've seen are like right here, which is called the Black Pit. Uh, which we'll kind of explain a little bit later, but it's like right dead smack in the middle. Like air cover cannot make it from Canada here, and it cannot make it from England here. So this is where the ships were pretty much on their own, and the, uh, the U-boats had a field day out here. Um, but let's just try going here. So we're going to go this way, automatic coursing it, and we're going to go south of the island this time. Uh I'm actually going to skirt by the course. Again, this is just a preset course. If there's a certain path that you know you discover it's a bit deeper, you can come out a bit more. Again, do your own path. Be my guest. Um, but let's go hit uh, speed. Three. Oh, I think we have to do... Um, what's the matter here? You have guests on your ship. Oh, release them. Oh. Okay, so release them. How do I release them? Oh, I think I have to do... Um, hang on a second. So we're going to have to go like this to this guy here. And I think we have to do survivors. There it is there. Free survivor, free survivor. Sorry about that. We weren't supposed to take on people. We just kind of just did it. Anyways, let's go. That's how you do it. You got to go to your recruitment guy and free and free them. Yeah, free them into, like, <laughs> German prison. But anyways, let's keep going. Uh, and I don't think, uh, realistically, they ever would have taken prisoners. Like, you cannot take a prisoner on a submarine with as tight quarters as it is. There's just no way that would have worked. Uh, but that's just uh, the unfortunate truth of it. Um... And something else kind of cool we can do now that we're here kind of just in port is you can go to this guy and have him turn on the searchlight. So let's have Luther go over there, whatever, whoever that is. And there it is. And you can kind of, does that help? There you go. Look at that. You can see the front of the ship. So as we're leaving port, and he's kind of like, is he moving the searchlight around? No, he's not. Can you move the searchlight? I don't know if you can even move it. I think it's just like one... I don't see any options how to move it. Huh. Okay. Well, anyways, that's just how, that's the searchlight. Uh, yeah, I can probably turn that off. I don't think we need that. But anyways, let's go back to the map and let's head out to see. Uh, we'll speed up a little bit and let's go. It uses a lot more gas the faster you go, of course. So you don't, you don't want to like just be cranking this out at max speed endlessly. Um... Uh, yeah, radio guys on target, and what's he doing actually? Is he on? Uh oh, play music. Oh, how about this, guys? How about this? There we go. There we go. We got some nice radio Gibraltar. Okay, we're in the patrol zone. Um, let's pl plan the path ahead. There are many ways to plot a patrol path, and the technique is up to your preferences. As rule of thumb, try to plot a route that avoids traveling over the same areas multiple times, and the one that has as much vertical movement as possible. Interesting. Okay, please do that now. Plot any path that is at least 1,600 kilometers long. You shift add waypoints. Okay. We shall do that. Okay, it won't go away till I do it. So let's go north. Okay. Um, then we're going to go south. Okay. Then we're going to go north. Then we're going to go south. And then we're going to go north. Oh, that's it. Okay. So hopefully we see something along these routes here. So I, I assume this is what it means by vertical movement, but I'm not exactly sure. All right. Follow the path. And now it's nighttime, so you can't see too much in the evening. You might... I don't think the ship's even around with lights on. They were smarter than that. We might be able to see something now. 
it's a nice, beautiful, starry night. So let's uh, speed up the game and see if you can see anything. We'll go to 1800 speed. See, we're going to kind of go over our own line here a little bit, right? Slightly. So this is not that efficient, this this triangle thing. We're going over our own line a bit. I don't think we even made it to the top. <laughs> we even make it to the top grid there. All right, we should find something, though. But here we go. We got radio Gibraltar. I don't think we would have got Gibraltar radio from this far out at sea. We're way too far. Gibraltar's like over here. There's no way we would have got that far. But here we go. We're almost halfway done our mission. Oh, patrol was uneventful. Let's check on the radio. Select uh, Osterman and click the radio. Okay. So, so far we haven't found anything. You know, I better slow down a bit. I think we're, we're burning a lot of fuel here. Again, all these things you got to really monitor. Uh, ongoing broadcast. Click the highlight icon to... Oh, okay, here it is here. Okay. Anything? It slowed the game down. I can hear the music got really slow. So what's the story here? Um, click the hide icon to enter the, enter the radio. Oh, enter the radio. Oh, I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm blind. I was clicking on this thing. I wanted to go this thing. Go ahead. Now the radio meant to receive decode the message. Oh, attack my aircraft. Sustain heavy damage position. BE-4617. <gasps> SOS. We should do our best to help them. Okay, confirm. Uh, unknown group. Okay. Radio man is tracking the message using direction finder antenna installed on the ship. Order your crew to plot a path towards the marked contact by clicking on it with the right mouse button. I think I better turn the radio off, eh? Like, hang on a second. Uh, change music station. Stop music. Like we're about to go into some combat here. Let's just turn the music off for a second. Okay, let's head towards that area. Now we're still on the surface. I don't see anything yet. Stop, stop, stop! Ah! <laughs> okay, so you gotta be careful with your controls. I cruise by the U-boat on the horizon, set a course towards it. Okay, all right. Uh, it's right here. Okay, let's go. Aircraft, let's search for you. Oh no, the U-boat sent an SOS. Click on where to close. Remember, your main mission is to sink enemy shipping, and Kriegsmarine won't reward you as much for shooting down the aircraft. The best strategy when you encounter them is to submerge and wait for the aircraft to leave the area. In this case, we're going to risk it, though, because the U-boat is severely damaged and needs our help. Uh, select Haganau. Put him on the ak, -Ak. Okay, where is this... Hang on a second. First of all, pause. Where is... It's off to our... Uh, our port side, hard port. Hang on a second. Where is this other sub? I can't even see it. It's somewhere over here. Now, I don't see this shit, this plane either. Is he going there? Yeah, Hagenau's on it. Right? Where is he? There he is. Get on there. Get on the gun. Here's the aircraft. So you have to right click, right click the aircraft. But I don't see where the aircraft is. And, you know, we can do that manually too. Some, oh, there he is. Should be... Oh, can't see. I hear him. I can't... I want to shoot at him. Where is he? Oh, you know what? We're going to shoot at him. Where? Oh, wow. Look how far he is. I'm trying to lead the target. I don't know how accurate the leading is in this game. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he doesn't, like, worry about heat. He just rips it. This guy just rips the, the gun out this guy. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Accuracy. Oh, where'd he drop? <gasps> did he bomb it? That bastard. He bombed and sucked the sub. Revenge will be ours. It's 
It's a bit far. I don't know, maybe I'll have a better time shooting at him. 32% accuracy. 33. I don't think it's gonna hit him. 35% is nothing. Ah, uh, I think that ship's gonna, he's gonna run. Uh-oh. He dropped, he dropped charges on me. Whoa. Oh. Oh no. Quickly press space. I can shut the aircraft down, but they hit us hard too. There's a massive hole in the hull. Okay. Lucky for us, it's located in the upper part of the hull. Such breach. Oh, this is like I automated for the tutorial. I was like, oh my god. Okay. Uh, second part. Haganel got wounded. Okay. Select Alfred Watcher Engineer before we continue. Uh, Watcher. Okay. Have him fix this leak. Okay. Next, we want to start pumping water. Um, Okay, I don't see any water in the village, but okay. Now, let's ensure Klaus Hagenau will get the medical help he needs. You both's radio man's always trained as medical help. Slyn, select the radio man and have him help him. Okay, now, unpause. Now, I didn't see where that... My God, that's depth charges for you. I didn't see where that plane went down. Okay, whatever. Um, Let's look at the water. Is there any water in the ship? Oh, there is water pouring in the ship. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, so far, it's not too bad. I see... Oh. Oh my god, look at that, you can see the water coming in. Uh, uh-oh. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some buoyancy there. So they gotta fix this, uh, fix this leak here. Flow rate. Um, I guess this is 13, up to 1300, they gotta fix it? Oh no, I don't know how it works. I don't know what the flow rate means. Used by somebody else. External pressure, one atmosphere, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, there's no radio man. This guy can't send the radio. Can he do this? Okay, go ahead, do that. Oh, I guess Hagen was, was, was healed. Okay, he's healing in his bunk, I guess. Where is he? I don't even know where he is. He must be sleeping in his in his bunk. Okay, he's healed. Um, all right, these guys are fixing this thing still. Oh, the water's pumping in here. Oh my god, 1.4 meters of water. Is this pump on? Turn it on. God dang it. 2.2 .2 meters of water remain in the compartment. Okay. This guy's sweeping. Like, we have more important things. The breach has been repaired. We're fine for now. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Man, that's good. Destroyer! They must be searching for the previously sunk uh, U boats. Destroyers are heavily armed units. You should never face them on the water surface. Crash dive! Where is it? Where's the destroyer? Hang on a second, I wanna see where it is. Oh, there it is, it's off to our starboard. Okay, hang on. Where is this thing? Wrong way, turn around. It should just be within sight. It should be just over here somewhere. It's not gonna let me do anything until I, uh... Hmm. Okay, I can't see him. He should be, oh, wait. No, I thought I saw smoke for a second. Over here. I kind of want to show you guys what the destroyer looks like, but it's not gonna let me. You know what we can, can do? Try maybe is if I can zoom in like this. There it is. So you can see it looks like a British destroyer. Looks like he's got like torpedo tubes. Uh, I don't know if there's uh, death charge stations. I'm not sure. In the mean, anyways, you don't want to face this guy. You don't want to face with this guy. Which wait? Where is he? He's really far. Oh, it's off my... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side. I'm sorry, guys. It's on the port side. Oh, there he is. You see the glint? Right there. There he is. He's right there glinting. Right there. Right at the tip of my mouse. That's where he is. Okay. I just want to show what he looks like. Okay, crash dive, crash dive, crash dive. Get down there. Get down there. There he is. And these guys move fast, too. These, guys, these destroyers. 24. They move at least as fast as me, if not faster. There he is, right there, right there, glinting. Warship spotted, send a message. Can you? Or no? Oh, the radio man's sleeping. <laughs> okay. How's the radio man sleeping at this time? Okay, let's go into our ship. 
um, what we need to do is actually get uh, this guy out of bed and on the earphones. So you can hear where the ship is. Now let's see if we can figure out how to find the ship on this thing. Okay. Oh, hear that? You hear that? Hmm. Low feel. Oh. You hear him on the medium frequency. That way. That way right there. Whoa, loud. See, he's coming from that direction. See, you can see how it gets louder there? On the low freq on the low frequency. So we know he's coming from our port side like that. See that? I feel like it's louder than me. But he's right there. So that's how this hydrophone works. Okay. He's gonna find him. And we're going down deep. We are now, what are we now? 150. 60. Well, we're going down to 150, but he's gonna be coming overhead, and you'll, you'll see him actually come right on top of us. Here he is here. He's close, he's making a beeline right for us. So, aircraft. What we're gonna do, we're gonna watch our rudder. 150. So that's what you need the hydro for, so you can kind of adjust. We're gonna make your course, uh, make your course five degrees to port. I want him to come this way, and I'm gonna kind of, like, I'm trying to point at my screen right now. <laughs> okay, actually, I can use this. He's coming this way, right? Hang on, put this thing back on, you annoying creature. Can I not use it on here? Oh, there it is. So he's coming, like, more or less from this direction, okay? I'm gonna try and make my direction, like, like this. I'm trying to turn to go this way. On that. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's my thought process. Here. I can try and go this way here. Turn. Keep turning, guys. So wait, when he comes to my last known position, I'll be already gone. Gone that way. I'm trying to go not to go too fast. So keep the prop noise down a little bit. 110. 110 meters. I can still hear him with my earphones, my hydrophones, where he is. He's still. Yeah, he's still coming in from here. He's heading right for us. Make your course zero degrees. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can see the blue light now. The blue light means it's general rule for the ship. Whoops, sorry, keep on zooming out. Don't make any noise. That's a blue light. 150. 150 meters. 150 meters. Now we can risk a little bit deeper, should we need to. Uh, we're gonna go down to, uh, let's try, let's try 160. Let's try 160. Pumping a little bit more water into our thing. Now, uh, stress is like, you see a crew member might crack, and um, I think the game's gonna actually force a crew member to crack, and we're gonna have to try and deal with that. Oh, what's this? Looks like there's water in the engine room. There's water in all these rooms. Buoyancy impact 0%. There's like this water everywhere. Actually, I don't know what this button means. I don't know what any of these things mean. Um, I don't want to test it right now while this destroyer is on top of us. We'll test what these are out when we get back to the surface. I think this is closed hatch. I think this is turn off power in the room. I'm not sure what that is. Pump the room out? I'm not sure. Bill, just control room, torpedo room. It's showing you how much water is on the boat. Okay. Engine room. Exit. Here you go, guys. We're at 160. We're at 160 meters. A dangerous depth. Yeah, I know we're dangerous depth. I'm waiting for this ship above us to go away. Is he still moving? It looks like he's still moving. Let's try 20 degrees to our port. Let's try that and see if it can turn around. I don't think he's gonna de he's gonna depth charge me here. I think we're gonna get away with this. Yeah, we're turning this way. I, I, I thought I was going this way. I look, sorry, it's my bad. We're facing this way. Okay, but he's coming right for us. We gotta turn. I wanna go this way up here. 
How's the air? Not bad. It's not terrible. Actually, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, gas is here. This is our electricity, battery capacity. Um, as it gets a bit closer, they might start cracking a crew. Yeah, you obviously we're moving very slowly underwater. What's our speed? 11 kilometers an hour. Yeah, we're moving pretty slow. Um, so that's it. Nothing to do. Oh, your crew becomes stressed. Considering this very first patrol, you may shortly see who among us up to duty, who isn't. Uh, take notes, Captain, and adjust the roster accordingly. So when we get back to port, you can see who will kind of break and you can fire them off your crew. Uh, but wait for the, uh, the crack, the inevitable crack to happen. But I kind of want to see... Yeah, I think he's going to come this way. And we're going to, again, we're going to keep turning. You can't, uh, you can't zoom in on ourselves anymore, but uh, you can kind of see our marker here as we turn slowly, ever so slowly. Looks like he turned also a bit, because he was coming this way, so he turned also. So that's, it's good to know actually which direction you're heading before you give your ship instructions. <laughs> you know, a total goof. Um, yeah. So if he turns into me, it might be a problem. Oh, he's turning slowly. Or he stops. No, he's still going. He's still going. I'm just kind of waiting for him to turn up. It's so slow. You know what? Make your, your direction here. Go to uh, 25 degrees. There we go. Now, make your degree, make your zero degrees. There we go. Let's go. So now we're heading completely different directions. Uh-oh. Sounds like a ghost. Uh, panic attack. The enemy may hear him on the hydrophone. You must deal with it as quickly as possible. Select Klaus Hagenau. Click on the sailor and punch. Oh, it's the, it's the chef? No, it's not the chef. Vogel. 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 You're going to get what's coming to you, Vogel. Where's Hagenau? Run. <gasps> can you hear it? You can hear the prompt. I can hear the destroyer prompt. I can't really see what's going on, but he's basically punching this guy out. Choking him. I don't know what he's doing. God. He cracked under the pressure. Okay, he's, he's beating him up. But I think we're going to be safe. We're going to completely different directions now. And if you click on this guy... Yeah, you can hear it now. Uh, critical state. We are now past the crisis skipper destroyer. Seems to have left the area. Uh, highlight button to return to the surface. Okay, so it automatically just um, vanished him for the sake of the tutorial. Looks like. Okay, let's uh, blow the tanks. Um, let's turn on normal lighting. Okay, and let's uh, turn the pump on. All right, let's go back up. Low air reserves. Well, it's going down for sure. And I think that's pretty much the end of this mission. Uh, I'm gonna have this guy go on the radio um, because I want him to send the warship mission for some more marks. Again, we have to buy our own stuff with our money we earn by doing missions. So uh, yeah, we're going back up, blowing the tanks. Um, and let's put let's put on the uh, electric compressor now. Anyways, yeah. So pump everything's on. Pumps are on. Everything should be draining. Um, again, I don't know what these things are. But let's, should we test it out? Here's pumps. Let's test out uh, in this room here. So what's this? What's this button do? Oh, it turns the lights off. Okay. What does this do? Closes the hatch. It looks like. Clear the hatch. No. Yeah, okay, let's open her up. Yeah, so the, the green button is the hatch. This is the power. I, do, I don't know what this button does. What does this button do? We're gonna find out. Oh, pail out the water of the room? I think it means pail out, yeah, take pails and dump out the water 
and dump it into the into the bilge. Yeah, they're taking pails out and dumping it into the bilge. Ah, okay. Okay, so let's go back to the map and finally we are done. Uh, oh no, we didn't even finish yet. We have to do our 600 kilometers. Okay, so let's go this way and this way. That should be all you need. Okay, go. Detection. Aircraft. Unknown aircraft. In the air or in the sea? I think it crashed. Right? Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. I don't know if this aircraft is... Oh, it is flying. <gasps> oh my god. It's trying to chase us. There is an aircraft there. Oh my gosh. What's he doing all the way out here? He is really trying to chase us, this guy. Interesting. Okay, we have to get to... Uh... Right? Do we need to get 600? Yeah, we have must have to get it still. Okay, left the aircraft long. Long, long back. Uh, you know what? Let's do it this way. And we'll go this way. I don't know if the destroyer is still in the area. I don't know what. But it looks like we're not even going to get enough. Just barely make, make it. We'll go this way. Okay, done. Return to La Rochelle. Thank goodness. Okay. Hang on. Pause the game. Let's go back. La Rochelle. Automatic. Uh, port course, and let's go. Um, yeah, let's go actually, you know, let's have some fun. Let's go, what's this guy doing? Let's go to play music. Uh, Radio Gibraltar. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be the end of the patrol. Um, the rest of the tutorial mission is just about like how to bring in new guys and your HQ and researching and stuff like that. It's nothing too interesting. Um, but I think we're going to come. We're going to actually going to continue and maybe do a couple of missions with this game. I'm really liking this game so far. Um, it's pretty early on, like I said in the beta. It's not the final version of the game, but I think it might be fun to try. Um, a couple patrols and just see how we like it. So um, look for that um, in the next video. All right, I'll see you guys soon.